as I wrote recently, um, it really, it really just burdens my heart, you know? You see all these young men blogging <laughs> um, and fighting over theological nuances. And uh, in a way, many of them haven't lived long enough to even know or at least experience what they're talking about. Sit there and we'll, we'll fill up the internet with this kind of stuff when, when there's literally billions of people who've not heard the gospel. I mean, it's, it's insane, men. And don't waste your life trying to be a theological expert to a bunch of people who already probably know more than you do. Get out there and preach the gospel. Go to the fields. Go to the places where it's dark. Preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. There's, you know, right now, I'm just rejoicing in what God's doing in India and Nepal, but there's Tibet. You know, God, I ask God, when are you going to open the door for Tibet? And, and China, go somewhere where uh, John MacArthur and John Piper are not and preach the gospel and pray. You have a lot of knowledge and pr proud and no power. No power. And I pray that you would not jostle for prominence on America's stage. That you'd go and die somewhere for Christ and that your name would be known in heaven. That you'd be a man of prayer. That you'd study deeply, not in order to preach to other brilliant men, but to preach properly to those who have never heard and to pastors whom God has raised up in foreign lands who've never had the privilege of studying as you have had the privilege to study.